Hey guys, so this is the new enclosure for the DMM servo upgrade. Um, been working on this for a few weeks and I've got it all laid out here. So let's kind of take a look at it and we'll go through the components. So the enclosure that I have is a 20 by 20 by 10 inch deep enclosure. I picked this enclosure up off of eBay and as you can see it came with a lot of uh, in components in there so that was kind of just a bonus um, some of the stuff I may use some of the stuff I probably will just remove you have to search around and see if you can find these deals because these enclosures can get kind of pricey uh, this one was $149 plus $30 shipping or something so it was about $190 I think total so look for deals on eBay so next we have our four DYN4 servo drives these are for our X Y Z and our fourth axis next we've got our VFD now I couldn't find a model for the Delta VFD that I have but it's a Delta M series it's 220 volt single phase in uh, 233 phase out now the DYN4 servo drives require that you put some uh, EMI filters for the control side as well as for the power in feed side so I've got four of these one for each drive and I've got these mounted on just a, a piece of angle aluminum angle uh, one amp for the control side and 20 amp for the power side that's what they recommend uh, in the manual we're going to need some terminals to make all our connection. Uh, these were the ones that were in the enclosure that I purchased. Uh, these things can get expensive too, so having those already in the enclosure, I didn't have to purchase any, so that was kind of nice. Uh, and there was also colors, so I'm going to use red and black for my two line in. I'll use green for my ground. I'll use the orange here for uh, my 24 volts. Next I've got a 24 volt solar power supply. Again this was an eBay find. Uh, this was really cheap. I think it was $29. These are normally over $100. Uh, so that was kind of nice this is a 5 amp 24 volts 220 volts in uh, 24 volts out I've picked up some circuit breakers I need two 4 amp circuit breakers uh, it's 1 amp per drive for the control power and then a 20 amp breaker for the VFD uh, next I picked up an ABB control relay I picked up one for the VFD and one for all four servos I am using a NL 22E and also for the drives, the drives I'm using an AL303010. Again, these were both new in the box. Both I found off eBay. I think one was $17 uh, and the other was $19. Uh, very cheap, uh, very good deal I found on those. I picked up a solid state relay. This will be used to control my flood coolant. And then next we have the Masso. And then 
some cable wire trays. Now these are came with the box so I didn't have to purchase any of these although I, these are three inches tall although I still have some left from the last build so that pretty much is everything laid out in the box there uh, you can see I think I have plenty of room uh, but you don't really know until after you get it all kind of wired up and stuff so um, we'll just have to wait and see now since my last video on CNC control uh, choices uh, I spoke about in that video that I was going to, get, going to go with the Masso however I also really liked Linux CNC so I decided that for this control enclosure I don't want to have to do it again so I'm going to make this either work with Masso or work with a Mesa 7i76 board and you can see that they kind of just go in the same spot here so either one I choose to go with uh, will work alright and so here it is in the enclosure and you can see I've got my side cut out here for the all the connections let's take a look at that so here I have my connections I've got some aviation plugs XYZ and A axis I have four pins for the motor four pins for the controls going out these are going out to the servos I have four for my home switches I have a DB25 for the Mesa 7i76 I have a 15 pin DB connector for uh, an MPG and then for the ATC I have a 4 pin for the motor for the rotation and a 2 pin for the home switch for the ATC I also am going to have a 4 pin for 110 volts going up to a control box uh, similar to what I have currently and then an 8 pin going up to the control box for the control voltage which is 24 volts uh, the 110 volts going up to the control box will just be uh, to switch on the either the MISO or the computer and to bypass the coolant uh, and turn on the monitor uh, basically the same thing that I have now uh, one switch will activate this outlet for the CPU and the monitor if I choose to go with Linux and then one switch will disable the coolant and turn this outlet off and then I've got a cannon plug here this is a four pin going out to my spindle I uh, picked this up off of eBay as well they're like nine dollars for these and these are like five dollars or ten dollars about a dollar a piece for these uh, aviation plugs and again I got these off eBay you can see the back side there and I think I have included everything that I'm going to need I still need to kind of go through the wiring and uh, make sure that it is uh, everything's good with it I'm still kind of working on the wiring diagram but for the most part it's done uh, you can see I've got plenty of room inside the box here so pretty happy so I guess that wraps up this video for the uh, enclosure I am almost finished with my honeydew list I have finished installing for the most part all the trim I've got it all painted and now I'm starting to work on my office which is also downstairs uh, and I had purchased trim for it 
but I've got to put in some built-in shelving so I'm working on that so I hope to get all that done before Christmas and hopefully I can start doing some work on the Precision Matthews and get these servos uh, up and running really excited uh, like I said I'm not sure whether or not it will be a Masso or it will be a Mesa with either Linux CNC or maybe try to uh, run PathPilot. I guess it just depends on how much time and I have to work on it and uh, what kind of progress I can make. So thanks for watching the videos guys. Uh, if you have any suggestions or questions please feel free to comment. If you're running PathPilot on a non tormach machine uh, I could always use some assistance with that. Uh, getting it up and running So contact me and let me know Thanks for watching Please subscribe and most importantly be safe